Smoke could be seen for miles because of this van that was on fire happening near Kendall today. And police were forced to arrest the driver for what they found burning inside the van. Let's go to local 10 news reporter Terrell Fournay live now with the details for us. Terrell. And Calvin, a significant amount of gasoline, according to Miami-Dade police, was being kept in this van that you see behind me in some sort of container right behind the driver's seat. As you can see, that charred out van is now sealed off as arson investigators go through it to try to figure out exactly what caused it to go up in flames. The dramatic moments are captured on Sky 10, a charred white van with the flames seemingly out. As a liquid spills out the back doors, one of the firefighters finds himself suddenly in the middle of the flames. Luckily, he's okay, but for neighbors, it only deepens the mystery behind the van. And I live here, and I don't, you recognize the cars that are on here, and the people live here, but that van, I, I never seen it here. Maybe inside the car, a chemical, uh, remember, the gasoline inside the, the car. Detectives tell Local 10 a large amount of gasoline was being illegally and dangerously stored in the back of the van. Somehow it ignited earlier this afternoon, causing this wild, fiery scene in the parking lot of an apartment complex. Specially equipped foam trucks assigned to Tamiami Airport were brought in to help extinguish the stubborn fire. Cell phone video recorded by a witness shows just how tense the situation turned. No report, though, of any injuries. I thought it was just a normal fire, but when I stepped into my house and then I came back again, I see the commotion going on and I saw that they couldn't control the flames. So. A valiant effort involving dozens of Miami-Dade fire crews and one who narrowly escaped harm's way. And the end result, certainly a dangerous and illegal act that has landed at least one man in jail tonight, believed to be responsible for all of this. Detectives are still interviewing him, so his information has not yet been released. They're trying to figure out exactly why he was storing so much gasoline in this van. It's a situation we'll certainly stay on top of. We are live in Kendall tonight. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.